get into these locations, Leilani Estate, you need a civil defense pass. This is one of them. They're not letting the general public in, but uh, we got our pass. We're gonna help our friend uh, move some things and get some shots while we're at it. So let's roll. Busy. Okay, we're taking a turn into the Forbidden Zone. Here's the National Guard. You guys seen this on the news, but now we're going through. This is kind of like the first time anybody's ever seen this from a journalist point of view. Thanks for joining us, everybody, right here at Third Phase Moon. We're doing it live, and we're gonna be showing you what Leilani Estates looks like after the aftermath of what's been going on here. Quite incredible. What's going on? People are screwed. We're getting chased by liquid fire. People that have invested everything in their lives up here. This is insane. I wonder why First Hawaiian ever made a subdivision up here and sold lots. You know, when the realtors come here, they should tell you what you're getting into. You don't know you come here, the island's so beautiful, da da da, this is the, the gem of the east side of the island. And it is quite beautiful. But honestly, they should make a much better effort in warning people what they're getting into over here. But then again, who uh, builds their life underneath an active fan? and looks up the hill and watches it glow every night. Absolutely, absolutely. Now we're on the road to Leilani Estates. We're here with KekoaInc.com and uh, he's allowed us access right now. He does some incredible designs for t-shirts, but right now, we're not worried about uh, t-shirts, but take a look at the incredible art. But what we are worried about is what's going on down the road here. And it looks like a new Fisher's opening up. What do you guys think? Let's get a close up shot of this, come on. You could actually feel the ground move underneath you. It's almost like a roll. And you could almost feel and imagine the magma underneath the road. It's, it's really weird. It's, it's not stable, it's just slow rolling. You could kind of feel it and it's right underneath us and these cracks are actual evidence of what's really going down below our feet just maybe no less than 10 feet but it looks like we might have another fissure opening up just right on this road we're gonna keep a close eye on it this is getting crazy that might be fissure number 18 what we're looking at right there guys Right, uh, this road is damaged beyond, oh, it's not passable. Open fissure opening up here. Possible new fissure right, happening. Uh, it's definitely getting hot, it's definitely getting hot. There is a, a rift breaking in through the trees over here. You can tell everything's dead around here. All the leaves are dying. The plants can't handle the toxic gases coming out of this crack right now. Wow, this is unbelievable. Right now, uh, you can smell the sulfur dioxide. The sulfur dioxide is catching up with everybody. You can feel it in your lungs. Actually, this could be a possible new fissure. Yeah, the ground is warm. You can kind of feel it coming through the shoes here. This could be a possible new fissure, boys. Sulfur's coming in. We can see the concrete melting. All right, it's like a war zone over here. You could hear explosions coming from about a quarter of a mile down the road, but these cracks are continuing to get bigger, larger, and wider. Things are going down right here in Leilani Estates. Let's hope that it starts to die down, but right now it doesn't look like it. All right, Thanks. everybody, we got a, I don't know, it looks like there's a fire coming in from a house over here. Unfortunately, this house does look like it's on fire. A home is on fire right now. Let's uh, let's hope that the fire can be controlled, but that house it looks it like, it's, like uh, it's gonna go up. It's going up as we speak. If you look over on your end, Brandon, it looks like there's some smoke coming out over here. You know, we wanted to bring you up to date what's going on with us at Third Phase of Moon, but we also wanted to bring you up to location of what's really going on on the ground. And this is incredible access right now that we're showing it to you. Give us a big thumbs up for your support and more updates from Leilani Estates. We got more, stay tuned.
All right, Keiko, what do you think? Uh, is it getting worse here on this road from your uh, viewing of this earlier today? Well, I think it's traveling underneath us. It's going downhill, and there's other communities at risk, and they're in need at this point. They're evacuating their homes, their farms. This is uh, not good for those people downhill. We can see that it's traveling underneath the road here, and it's traveling down the hill. There's nothing that says that it can't pop out up top. We may be standing in a future lava field. We it, don't know. Let's hope it gets better before it gets worse. But right now, well, that's a lot of activity behind us going yeah, on. That is an obvious flow underneath right there. That is a lava tube running underneath the pavement right there. All right, we got this motorcycle guy and he's kind of nuts. Look at him. He's going over the cracks with his BMW motorcycle through the bog. This is quite insane. I've never seen oh that before. God, that thing's pretty thick. He He's gone. He made, he, oh my God, did he fall through the crack? Keep an eye, do you hear his bike? It looks like okay. he made it. All right, okay. That was insane. Amazing. This flow was just a few days ago. It's dried up. It's taken out the road. So this is where it all came down and you can see the massive lava that just overtook this side of Leilani Estate. And it's still coming down. You could hear it blowing up back there. happening again guys here we go more explosions and uh, th things are getting more wild as we speak we're right here getting more wild behind me and uh, things are kind of rumbling you could feel the rumble you feel the ground this? happen yes I can this? absolutely another explosion dark more explosions. Ash I think uh, the more frequency the more uh, activity absolutely yeah, here. I think so Blake can we see this ash up in the sky here and the another explosions coming in another explosion here, let's run across the street. Come on, Brent. Let me get. Come on. Boom. Stay there. Yep. Right here, guys. It's huge, guys. Another explosion right here at Holly Mau Mau Crater. And it's getting really active. Take some pictures, Blake. Oh yeah. Thanks everybody at Third Phase of Moon checking this out. Awesome footage we're getting right here. It's as good as it gets for volcano hunting. A lot of activity here, guys. Tell us what just happened, Blake. Okay, there was a big explosion about two minutes ago, and now, right now, we're having uh, another one right behind it. It seems like the activity is building up here, and right now we have another plume just forming. So we'll see what happens next. We feel the ground shaking. There's activity beneath us. Yes, sir. I still think this is probably just rock fall into the caldera. We don't think it's actually the steam hitting the water table creating a a huge explosion this is just a precursor guys absolutely we'll stand by for a few more minutes bringing some more live action from the volcano big island of hawaii third phase of it all over the ash and ash and smoke just spilling into the sky it almost looks like a mushroom cloud. yeah yeah very happy. Very happy picture Speed. Over the past several hours that we've been here, the intensity of the eruptions that you're seeing behind me has over the past over the past several hours that we've been here, the eruptions seem to be intensifying behind me. This is what volcanologists are calling essentially the main event. We're on the road and we are in Leilani Estates. 
I think we're gonna see some lava for the very first time on third phase moon. We actually might be doing some live streaming, but we wanted to make sure that we could get to the location first. So we're on it right now, and we're gonna be visiting some uh, old spots that we were just here about 48 hours ago, and things have changed up quite drastically. We might have some lava right here, boys. Right there, Check there. it out. Lava. There it is. Fire on the road. We are there. I think we got a new fisher popping up, boys. Okay, we're on the scene. There is a new lava crossing. All right, we're approaching the scene. Watch the cracks, uh, watch the cracks stop. Got cracks on the road. All right, that's about as far as we want to get there. We're here, Blake. Okay, guys, we're on location. We're going to get some uh, close up shots. The lava fountain is to the left, but we'll see if we could get an angle right now. Come on, guys. I imagine this is just the beginning of our journey. Okay, come on guys, let's make a run for it. Let's do this. Watch the cracks could be opening up. We don't want to get caught in here. Got uh, the wind conditions perfect. The winds are blowing in the opposite direction. Prime location for this, let's go. Okay, we got here with Fuzzy the, with us. Here with the third phase of the moon. What's up, guys? Running Bye. along. Major crack. Watch where you're stepping, Brent. It's going to give away, but it's leading right into this property. Watch your step. Come on. Okay, we're really crossing into the heat. We might be getting into the heat. You could hear explosions in the background. Things could happen at any time. Power lines on. We got down power lines. We're up on just a recent lava flow, guys. Absolutely. The sulfur pits are massive. They have formed within the past 48 hours. Right here, There's some there. debris right on the ground, Brent. You can see the explosion of the debris of the lava expelling lava into the air and then melting and hardening on the ground. But right now, massive sulfur pits behind us. You can feel again the ground is not easy. It's kind of uneasy right now. Careful up there, Pete. Watch it, sir. We hear massive explosions in the background. Hey, right here, right behind. All right, we have it. There's lava right behind us. Watch the crack break. But it's opening up. And uh, this is not ah uh -uh, guys. This is Pahoy Hoy lava. So right here, that means right it's here. flowing very it's fast. Right Look, that's getting ready to pop. It's getting ready to right open up. There. It's coming on down, actually. See you guys? You see the fissure right there behind us? Oh, yeah, it's we see it there. open it. Shoot sideways next time. Get in there, buddy. Get up. Okay, we're up here on the open mound. I just felt an earthquake. It's okay, shaking. The ground is shaking. It's right over there behind me. And it could be opening up right around here. Guys, there's a 60 foot crack right here. Yep. Gonna be opening we gotta basically back off we don't know how big these fissures could open they go up to 300 feet and this is just the beginning work it could happen at any time actually the conditions are absolutely perfect the wind is in the opposite direction Thank we're not you, smelling any I don't smell, gas, no, sulfur. no co2 no sulfur whatsoever Thank about you, the cleanest air in the world but right behind me the fissure has reactivated and a lot of lava is spouting up. And I think this is the Pahoy Hoy, not the ah. Uh -uh. yeah. This is actually yeah, start to make a stream. Not I don't think we need that. All right. I can just feel it like soft all underneath. It's insane. Yeah. That's, okay, the ground is actually shaking up. It's very soft, almost like a sponge. Man, it is getting very intense right now. Right now, we're hoping that the wind doesn't change, but so far, we're in good shape. The ground is soft. You can just push it down. Yeah, it just ate me up. Yeah, let's back it up. Let's back it up. We're shifting. The winds are shifting. So we're shifting. Downwind. Quite incredible. Massive uh, lava action right now. This is quite exciting, everybody. Thumbs this up for third phase of moon being on location. We're going to get some more shots for you. Come on. Okay, we got a pretty good uh, view right here. Hear the explosions in the background.
Thank God the winds are blowing uh, away from us. Look at this. Total, uh, the newest place, the newest piece of land on planet Earth right here. You see the Pohoyahoya River happening, slowly yeah. dripping down. You can hear it cracking. We got. We're right on it. We're about a hundred yards from the lava. Yeah. We can't really get any farther. There's a huge Hot. crack happening. You could actually feel the heat coming off of this. Oh, wind change behind us coming. Good. We got a little trade winds kicking, so it's going to clean up the air. It's right yeah, in there. You see it? I've been trying to get this yeah. for days now, and finally we get it in the daytime. It's better than the We day pulled night. up. We got into Leilani Estates, and as soon as we got here, this active Ooh, fisher is happening. You guys watch. They start getting any higher. We need to get out of here. Take it. They could go just like guys. that. Get ready to move, Brent. Yeah, get ready, ready to, to move. move. Look, it, it is. Getting higher. We got even hear the some of the news the broadcasts. Everybody's with us right now. The winds are cooperating, oh. but you don't know if it shifts, oh. we could oh, be in no. trouble. It's up going up here. Getting the shot, play. Yep. Give us, Give us a little perspective on. You could hear. It. You could hear it breaking in the background. Watch it there. Watch it there. The ground's really soft right here. And we are along a rift and it is very sketchy because you can see drop off. So maybe about 50 to 60 feet right along our right hand side over here. But behind me, the fissure has just recently opened up and it's getting more active right here. We're gonna keep a close eye. We have a quick evacu evacuation uh, point. If we need to run, we'll run back that way. Yeah, stand by. Stand by everybody. Winds are shifting and we're losing visibility here. You might have to move. This could be the new rift line again to get reactivated. You can see the ground is giving in. Stop, stop. Okay, we got inside, and this is about as close as we possibly could get right now. This is the show, and we have front row access to history right now. Thanks, thanks. Yeah! Thanks for watching, everybody. I'd say that's going up about uh, about 30 feet right now. We just got a new fish roll cleaned up. I could get to uh, 22 miles an hour. Oh, I can't wait till you this head is... it out tonight, dude. Oh, yeah. Good beat. Blake and Blake, or how does that work? Grand Blake. Oh, you're brave. You can see the Pohoi Hoi slowly coming at us. It's almost like the movie The Block. It's insane. That tree is going up in flames, Blake. Get it. This tree is catching fire. Do we have some cave ins going on? Oh, I know what it is. You guys got that hydro thing going? Yeah. You're doing everything you look like. Exactly. No, I heard a hiss. I did. I heard a hiss. Everybody keep an eye out here. This is just possibly the beginning of what things are to become in Leilani and the east side of the island here. More fires the, building up. The grenades going off you the got background. fires going here. There's a forest fire. And I don't think the fire department's going to come out and help <laughs> in any way. Surprise, they're Yeah, they're not. I'm going back to the car. Okay, you can see the winds turning. It's actually a really big deal. It's getting a little intense. Things are building up. It's starting to get closer and hotter as we speak. 
So this is Fisher 7, yeah? Fisher 7, <laughs> is this what it is here? I think this is Fisher 7, yeah. How are you doing over there? I'm good. I fell, scratched my leg, but... Penance. Okay, here we go. It, it seems that it, it's bubbling up and it's almost like a liquid jelly. That yeah, looks like water. Oh, look at Drain Boy now. <laughs> got to get a perspective. Watch out, Do you see what's going on over yeah. here? We've got a crack about a, okay. going in about 100 feet. <laughs> yeah, this is once in a lifetime stuff. Yeah, that's for sure. There's a hole developing There's here. There's a hole right there. Chef Tom's about to fall. It just fell. Wow, that was crazy. That could be the opening. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Winds are shifting. See the heat coming off the recent flow here. It's almost like glass. Look at the heat. that the volcano's creating its own weather. It's like a massive explosion going on right here. There's something going on up there, mixing in with the atmosphere and the CO2. There's some kind of reaction going on, making its own weather up there. All right, guys, we got a little lava that's still, still burning in there. I think you guys can see that. You see that little red spot? We're standing on top of lava right here that just cooled recently within the past 17 hours and it just laid over this whole area all right we're with the new york times right here we're in the hot zone right now we've got the photographer coming in we're doing a news report with the new york times they're going to do a little interview here have the full-on crack opening up. You can see it's breaking its way all the way through this guy's property. It almost, that car is gonna get swallowed up right under his house. Okay, we got the experts. They're all geared up. They're gonna be doing a hike in probably about two miles to the left of us, right next to the Puna Geothermal. And uh, yeah, we got the New York Times here, independent uh, journalist. They're coming in from all over the world to document what's going on here, right here in the Big Island of Hawaii in Leilani Estates. All right, we're going through different area. We're trying to get through the back area to get closer to the lava fountains. We're reading our CO2. Do we got any? We got a little part for wheeling going on. All right, we have a brush fire happening right now. We just got a where for the cops, so actually the access is being denied. We're gonna have to go through this area. Of the Stuck. We couldn't get in there, unfortunately. HPD uh, is telling everybody we need to evacuate. There's a big brush fire heading our way. I guess it was sparked up by the lava uh, flowing through, and now this whole neighborhood says. We gotta go, gotta go, so that's what we're doing. Third phase of moon, Blake Cousins. We've got more updates coming in from Leilani Estates. And let me tell you, things are heating up. We've got two eyewitnesses from the ground. And right now, we're looking at something quite incredible. The earth is cracking and it's opening up. You can see in this video as it's basically engulfing this home and the cars. We've got the man right here who shot this incredible footage. Thanks for joining us. We have them. Jonathan, what's your YouTube channel's name? And uh, let's get to it. It's uh, Zico Searcher. 
geekochurcher.com. All right, we're going to be supplying the original link below so you can check out Jonathan's incredible videos coming in. But let's get to this right now. There's some crazy noises coming in from the area. I'm wondering if this has something to do with Puna Geothermal or is this something from Pelly herself? Wow, what did it feel like there, Jonathan? Right. Yeah, everybody's wondering what those sounds are because it, it, some of it sounds like metal, some of it sounds, um, you know, just just kind of eerie and, and uh, just groaning kind of sound. And all of that is real time and high definition, so there was no, you know, no manipulation. Uh, and the ground, incidentally, was was pulsating up and swelling up. And that particular shot uh, or scene. Uh, Quickly uh, advanced into, into something uh, greater, which that whole that whole area was inundated. It's it's now under probably ten or twelve feet of lava, uh, with a major fissure uh, going off just feet from from. Uh, well, you saw that fissure. What was bubbling in that that became a a, a major fissure and uh, is putting out an incredible amount of volume of lava right now. Yeah. Oh my God, things are collapsing around us, Brent. Yeah. We gotta watch out for the trees, it's breaking apart. Everything's getting really intense. Watch your back here. Back. So, uh, there's one other guy that might be jumping in on this. Hopefully that's okay with you guys. Where's he at? How's everything going over there? Is it kind of slowed down? No, no, no. It's, it's, it's coming in right him? now. That's why we're going. Where's he at? Behind just, the line? Just hold right here. I'm going to point up in front just to see if there's any lava flows that are going to overtake the road here. We're coming up on a flow that just recently happened. All right, it seems like the lava is stalled out at this front, so we're excited about that. When Jason's home to be spared. We have a little front right up here, still active. So we're going to have to be careful and we're going to keep an eye on that one. All right, we are on the scene. We made it and as of right now, there is some lava activity to the left of us. But we could see this road has been totally denied access. The lava came in within the past 48 hours and we're trying to get a lookout to see exactly where the lava is coming from. We have the Coast Guard, we have the military flying over, keeping an eye out where the lava flow is. Let's, uh, let's go take a look around. Come on. All right, we made it to the advancing wall of lava behind me. We have a uh, uh, uh combined with Ahoy Hoy breaking through. This is quite amazing. We made it to the location. Welcome back, everybody. Third phase of moon. This is incredible footage, and we're doing it right now. Front row seat to history. All right, it seems that the entry is gonna make it into the cavern right here. In a matter of moments, there's gonna be a major land shift and it's gonna be dropping down here about 80 feet. Hopefully, it starts to surge this way because Jason's home and his farm is on this side. So we're hoping that it shifts to the left and away from Jason's property here, but it's getting hot and unstable. All right, it's advancing, it's getting intense here. Brent's surveying the area. You know, this thing's about to drop any minute now. As you can see, the Pahoy Hoy is moving. Things are collapsing. Collapse. This is insane. And it's getting hot. Our camera's actually malfunctioning yep. due to the fact that the heat is basically frying the circuits. But we're going to try and keep uh, rolling here, keep you updated. Dropping. Do you see it dropping there, guys? Yeah, it's moving. And there it goes. It's almost like a mini Helena slump going on, but gravity is going to grab it and it is going to take off in a matter of a few moments here. We saw this one coming down. We knew that it was going to drop in. 
And it is gonna shift at any moment here. It's shifting. Give me reference point. Yeah, I will. Once it's over. Here it comes, guys. It's dropping in. You can see the tilt. You see it tilting? That's it, guys. It's on the move. I've never seen anything like this before. It's really falling apart. Jesus Christ. It's this is, uh, apart. that's like a little mini ash cloud. And uh, it's advancing into the crevice as we suspected and the advance is coming our way here. The rock's about the size of a car. It's just about to go over here. It is quite remarkable seeing this. Basically, lava is being sucked up into the ground into a massive crevice and it's being filled up as we speak. We're keeping yeah, an eye on this. Coming down from here. So, this is our only one way out, guys. Oh my God, things are collapsing around us, Brett. Yeah, we gotta watch out for the trees, it's breaking apart. Here and this thing's this about to go. Here. here it goes. Check it out. Well, you look at this. There it goes, guys. Gravity is just holding this up and it's, it's gonna be taken by gravity down into a 30-foot crevice. I've never seen anything like this before. Watch this. Oh, wow. There you go. That way, guys. That way. Good job, guys. Go. There we go. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Good job. Okay, there's some more action over there, but they're heading in the right direction. Uh, hopefully the birds are safe, but come on. All right, things are heating up. Actually, it's moving forward quite rapidly now. It's starting to break through, unfortunately. You can see the lava flow coming. And it's coming down here. I'm wondering if uh, the camera could handle the heat. It it's, is absolutely hot. getting hot. It feels like, uh, you know, it must be about 110, 114 this about right here and that's about as close as you could get to it here holy cow it's really coming in lights at the front we're there just right up there and now that road's gone crazy All right, we can see telltale signs that All this right. is turning into pohoi hoi blank. Yes, it is. Uh, the pohoi hoi is now, it's more liquid. So things are about to move a little bit faster due to the fact that the pohoi hoi has ripped underneath the aa uh -uh and making its way down below it. And it is advancing. Incredible. The camera's getting hot. I gotta stay a little back or it's gonna overheat, guys. All right, we're hoping. Hoping the lava actually hits this lava tube. We hear it's the size of a 747, so we could get some lava filling this thing up instead of going on to Jason's property. All right, get in there. That was uh, one of the major drop offs there. We're seeing how it's working. Okay guys, I think we should uh, just back up a little bit. Things are getting a little hairy and this advancement of the Ho Hoi Hoi continues to flow in a slow manner, but things are getting hot and our only escape route is throughout this way. So let's keep our eyes out, Frank. Keep, watch out for you back here. Whoa. Okay guys, it's almost time to leave this place where it's gonna be getting cut off So. Get a little intense here, guys. Oh, 
All right, guys, we got a little good breeze here, so the air quality is good. This is bacon. It feels like you're next to the hottest campfire made from Mother Nature. You can see the stones just melting. And that shit's about to drop right here, Blake, so keep an eye Watch on it. Watch out, Brent. All right, guys, we have a few more minutes. We're gonna stand by just a bit, but we're gonna have to get going. Make sure to subscribe to Third Phase of Moon for more updates from the Big Island of Hawaii. The advancement is continuing. We'll see you again next time. So that means that it must be up top coming down. Um, yeah, there's a uh, pohoi hoi underneath this ah. Uh -uh, yeah, so the pohoi hoi is definitely pushing this ah uh ah -uh down towards us. Um, Things are getting louder. There's more crumbling. These guys, these guys have been hanging out here for a little bit. And, uh, yeah, things have changed over the past uh, half hour. Wow, just a half an hour. And Absolutely incredible. The earth is being born right now. New land is being created as we speak behind us. And it is surreal to see this massive flow at least maybe 45, 50 feet above our head. And it's advancing in this way. Unfortunately, it's coming towards uh, Jason's property, but he's still up there a little bit. So we're gonna keep our fingers crossed, pray for uh, Jason that this doesn't affect as much as it has already a lot of people. Leilani Estates, Kapoho, and people are forced to evacuate, but this massive wall is uh, basically coming still at us. So watch out, guys. Well, you can see the lava. It's like a lava wave. It's coming in, coming in fast, too. Unfortunately, we thought it was going to slow down, but it's picked up. You can see it coming in. I've never seen anything like this before. This is amazing. Watch your back. Gotta watch my back here. Wow. You can see it coming in. Okay, the camera's getting hot. It can't handle this heat, so we can only stay so close to it. All right, the pohoi hoi has actually made its way down to the surface below, so now it's starting to speed up around here. The action is getting more advanced, more fluid, and uh, things are getting actually quite hot. But as you can see, the pohoi hoi has actually gone to the surface and now things are getting more rapid. got the high ground a little bit here but I don't know how long this is gonna last wow. still coming in guys you know now this place behind me is unrecognizable after just 20 minutes it's totally taken over the road there is no uh, indication of the uh, cavern this place has been building up and it's building up quick and our only exit route is through this road so we're gonna keep a close eye hopefully it doesn't backtrack the other way but trees Whoa. are falling and uh, Wow, it's, it's getting hot, but it's we are in. again downwind. Look at this. Look at as it just comes out of here. Whoa. It's really pouring down. It's getting smoky. This is intense. Our uh, access is getting blocked off, so we're going to get in touch with Jonathan yeah. and see if we can get okay. out of here. Yeah, let's move it. Whoa. All right, trees are coming down right trees behind me, down, and uh, the weight is intense. Everything, everything's getting really intense. So watch it back here. Oh. Okay, as we see it, the lava again is making its way, and it is just pounding the trees down. It is going and uh, it's going it is, off, guys. It's just going off, and everybody's joining us. We're here with Jason, the, one of the property owners, and he can't believe his eyes. No matter of just an hour, everything is just changed up. It doesn't look anything this, like it did earlier. This whole flow right down, down there. It's going, going in the, the tube. tube. This is going down in the tube right here. This is where the tube is. I turned it down. It's falling in right now. Here it goes. It's gonna fall in for our home. 
is still very active. Look at this boulder just pushing through. Donovan's gotta go. Guys, we gotta hit it. Uh, we're gonna try to get back at night. Okay, and, guys. Uh, um, what's going on here? I just want to let you guys know it has made. We're gonna to hit it, guys. Yeah, track. we gotta get out of here. We gotta get out of here. Watch in. your back. Wow, look at that boulder right there. Watch it, buddy. Look at that. Okay. Okay, we're uh, actually vacating the situation. We're getting out of here, and okay. uh, we might be back in a little bit. But we got some things to take care of. It's advancing, so uh, we're gonna move. We're gonna move now. Come on. All right, we're trying to figure out what's the best way to get out. Either it's this way or they're wondering if they, we're being blocked off right now. So they're also wondering where all the animals are. So we're giving them directions to where we last saw some of the goats, some of the chickens, so they could basically go in there and rescue some of the animals. Because uh, right now, we saw the advancement just a few minutes ago and it's making its way down. So they're trying to get in there as fast as possible to get the animals out. By popular demand, Paul bared his back with his third album, Third Phase of Moon, The Strangest Things. Twelve brand new tracks heard by millions on your favorite channel, Third Phase of Moon. Available on iTunes, Amazon, and music streaming services. The moon, the strangest things. Available right now. Links are below.